Good morning, everyone. And you can see today that the background noise in my office, if I'm quiet for a moment, is hovering at about 37 decibels according to this Unity meter. Um, I did take apart this Unity meter when I got it, and I'll put the link to that video in the uh, description. But what I wanted to do is to try to use this meter to get some very rough idea of how loud I've been setting my IEMs when I'm listening to them. I think I send them, set them roughly about 70 dB or less, 65, 70 dB, but probably under 70 dB most of the time. Um, so I made up this little rig to try it out. This is a piece of heavy PVC tubing. Ah. Just a moment. The furnace is turned on. And let's take a moment and see what the background noise in here is with the furnace on. So about 52. Well, that's unfortunate, but that's appropriate for our, uh, for our discussion today. So obviously, if you're using open back headphones in here, which I often do, and you're listening to something that's you know, a background noise in the 50 dB range. If you're listening to classical music, they're gonna have the volume up pretty loud. So the peaks are gonna be pretty loud to try to counteract that. You're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be well over 70 dB in terms of the loudest parts of music, the average, maybe you'll still be around 70. This is one of the advantages of IEMs and closed backs is of course they then knock down that sound. I don't think the, these uh, True Theory Zero Reds, for example, are the most effective at that, but they certainly take it down by 10 dB, probably somewhere in the 10 to 15 dB range. So for the purposes of, um, of trying to cut down the background noise in a relatively quiet environment enough that you aren't damaging your hearing by listening to what you want to listen to, um, that's fine. Obviously, with the background noise of 50 dB, listening to pop music or at 70 is probably going to be okay for casual listening. Anyhow, just to give you some examples of the kinds of situations we all function in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on something that's relatively loud. I'll probably use a pop track or something. I haven't quite decided. I have a couple of thoughts. I'm going to set them up with these Truth Year Zero Reds to a volume that I consider reasonable in this environment. And then I'm going to use this little piece of tubing connected to here. Well, here I'll set it up so you can see. Um, I'm going to shut that off. I've got a mark that is supposed to, based on my a huge amount of research by looking up the length of the human ear canal on Wikipedia supposed to uh, tell, tell, tell us what and it's, you know be, be about the length of the ear canal um, and as you can see that seals well because it's going on I put a couple of layers of tape on the inside to make sure that IEMs and the size ranges that I tend to put nozzles on or uh, ear pieces on um, fit I'll just drive these. Might also turn these up and see how loud they'll actually get. I mean, they may well be distorting at that point, but I'm not sticking my, them in my ears to find out. All right, so let me set some music up and come right back and see where we are. Okay, everyone, I've got the um, IEM set up. I've got it set to about the volume about halfway on my iPad, which is about as loud as I tend to play these, maybe louder occasionally. If I stop talking for a second, let's see that this is definitely picking up some vibration from the uh, AC system being on. I mean, right, so, uh, so we'll have to wait until that stops before actually doing a test. Um, I've got a track from the beaches on here for Canadian content, because why not? So I'm going to stop talking. We'll let this go down. I think we're starting to get to the loud parts of this song. 
and uh, we'll give it a go. So I think we can make it see pretty clearly that the peaks are to about 71, a little more when I'm talking, and of course the AC's shut off now, so we'll have to get our baseline again. That kind of fits my, um, my feeling about how loud they are at about this point, that they are about 70 dB. And you can see now with the AC off, we're down well below 40 in terms of the, uh, the, the baseline we have now. Now again, this is, is this accurate? Um, undoubtedly not, but within a couple of dB, yeah, I think maybe, you know, it fits my experience, it isn't outside it. Okay, so let's go over here. I'm gonna crank the volume up all the way at which point I assume these things will be distorting. I'm gonna to try to see if I can hear that by holding this outside my head, and I'm gonna hit play. Well, I will say they aren't obviously distorting to me, it looks like the peaks are hitting about 90 dB, which would, again, sort of fit my experience with turning this up close to the top and my guess as to where it kind of peaked up. 89. And now if we go down to about halfway, about a quarter, which is how you might use these in a quiet room. Sixty, sixty-five, And that, I will say all those numbers fit my experience. That's about what it sounds like to me if you compare it to, you know, descriptions of what different dB levels are about to, are to sound like, or if you compare it to what the meter tells you in open air in an actual room. So I kind of think that this is okay within a couple of dB. I mean, this is just ballparking, right? It's not gonna give you a correct measurement of the volume, of the, um, of the peaks. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not gonna do that. It's, you would need a proper um, rig for testing IEMs to do that. But given this is stuff I had, I'm pretty pleased. I think this, gives me a way of ballparking IEM um, volume numbers just for my own amusement to get some ideas to whether I'm reasonably correct in terms of my assumptions. Um, I bet in this scenario, unless you're really doing something dumb and willing to deal with distortion, although I gotta say I didn't actually hear it when I held these, you know, an inch or two away from my ears trying to hear if I could hear something really bad. I didn't, but that doesn't mean that the bass isn't distorting because there would be no bass. Um, but uh, in, in that scenario, I wouldn't hear it. But uh, I think, you know, this is, is sort of my feeling with this setup is that you get loud as loud as sort of commercial um, wireless IEM levels, right? Which tend to stop at about, 90 dB, and I think that's about how loud these get. So, you know, as long as you're not being too nuts with them I, and wearing them for really long periods, I mean, anything over 80 is really not a good idea, but, um, you know, keeping to mid volume levels on these things and you're not gonna do any damage to your hearing is my feeling. And uh, this seems to bear it out. Uh, I'd like to try this with some other IEMs and also with the FIO BTR3K, which I've put elsewhere so I don't have to show you right now, which is a Bluetooth adapter, but it also calculates based on the impedance of the headphones and its output voltage 
an approximate peak volume that it could reach at every volume setting. And I'm curious as to the relationship between the loudness you get measured and that my guess is that for most tracks, it's going to be lower because that's going to rep represent the maximum peak volume it can produce. And of course, things are, I mean, loudness wars and all that, but things are actually mastered a little bit below that. So it'll be interesting to try some measurements with that. I'm also thinking about attaching this tube to a flat piece of, or a, another piece of tubing from the same roll, to a, uh, to a flat piece of plywood or something, just to see if I can take measurements with, um, uh, on your headphones. I mean, obviously you can compare, but I'm just curious as to how loud I tend to turn up the open backs to cover something like, cover up something like the background noise in this room, for example. So that leads to a little bit of possible experimentation. Now I should say there are limitations to this meter. I don't think it has much frequency response below 50 Hertz or above, I don't know, 14. I think in my earlier video on this meter, I, I, I mentioned its, uh, its specs. But um, uh, so uh, obviously if you've got the bass turned up a lot, you might have some different uh, scenario. By the way, if you, if you want to do big bass boost, you need something better than these because obviously they don't have, if you, if you want, if, so if you put f 5 dB up in the base on these, right, you're probably going to be up into the clipping range on these pretty quickly, even if you're listening in the 70s, right? So, yeah. And there's the heat turning back on. So with that, I'll say have a nice day to everyone. Thanks for watching.